Hello, good morning everyone. How are you all doing today? I am so happy to be back here today to do another virtual story time. Did you like last week's story time about the color pink? Oh, good, I'm so glad. I really liked it too. So last week was pink. Does anybody remember the other colors we've talked about so far? That's right. We started with the color red and then orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and then we did white. Last week we did pink. Any guesses what color we might talk about today? Hmm. It's a very dark color. It's the color of the night sky. Does anyone know what color that is? <gasps> Did anyone guess black? That's right. Today we're going to talk about the color black. We're going to talk about all things that are the color black. So to start with, I'm thinking of something that's black. And it's a very small creature. It's an insect. It has eight legs, kind of creepy crawly, and it is the color black. Does anybody know what that might be? Any guesses? Did anybody guess? A spider! That's right, a spider is a type of insect. It's the color black, and it has eight legs. Should we count? One, two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, a spider. Okay, the next thing we're gonna talk about that's the color black is a fruit. It's a fruit, it's a berry. They're very, very tasty. Does anyone know what they might be? Oh, did anybody guess? Blackberries. These are blackberries. My kids love blackberries, but nobody loves blackberries more than my nephew Carson. He loves blackberries so much. One year for his birthday, that's what I got him. I got him blackberries for his birthday and he was so happy. They are just that delicious. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna thinking about that is the color black is an animal. It's a very big animal. It is the color black, but it also has a little bit of white on it. And it loves to eat bamboo. Can anyone think of a really big animal that is black and white and loves to eat bamboo? <gasps> Who guessed a panda bear? That's right, a panda bear is black and white and loves bamboo. This isn't a real panda bear. I couldn't find a real panda bear. Do you guys want to hear a joke quickly? What's black and white and red all over? A panda bear with a sunburn. So the next thing I'm thinking about, that is the color black. It's a type of candy. Some people love them and some people really, really, really don't like them. Any guesses? You might have to ask your grown ups. I bet you they would know. Did any of them say black licorice? Some people just love black licorice and some people don't love black licorice. But I'm going to send a piece home with each of the craft kits so you can try it at home and you can decide for yourself if you love black licorice or if you don't love black licorice. Okay, so the very last thing I'm thinking about, that's the color black. It's also, it's an animal. It's a very big animal. And they're usually found on farms 
They like to be outside. Lots are black. Sometimes they can be black and white. And it's where we get milk from. Any guesses? Did anybody guess? A cow. That's right. Some cows are black. Some cows are black and white. And some cows are brown too. Cows can be all different kinds of colors. I couldn't find a real cow. So I asked my friend to send me some pictures of a cow. So here are the pictures of his cow. So Jace, if you're watching, these are your Uncle Jeff's cows. And thank you so much for sending them to me. Is there anything else that you can think of that might be the color black? Maybe you have a black cat at your house, or maybe you've seen a black bat before, or maybe in the summertime you saw a black bear. There's lots and lots and lots of other things that are black. But now it's time to read a story. So, did anybody bring their magic fingers with them today? Oh, okay, good. Let's get them high up in the air. Start wailing them really, really, really fast. Okay, are you ready? <gasps> One, two, three, poof! <gasps> did you hear that? You guys sent all that magic straight through the TV, right to me here at the library. <gasps> and let's see what we have in the magic book bag today. Oh, we have a story called Chicken, Pig, Cow. Let's read it. Chicken, Pig, Cow by Ruth Ohai. Chicken, Pig, and Cow lived in a popsicle stick barn that girl made. They loved their barn. It was warm and cozy and smelled just right. The only thing that wasn't exactly perfect lived outside. His name was Dog. Dog was way too big. He was even bigger than Cow. And Dog drooled. I thought it didn't rain indoors, said Chicken. Girl had forgotten to leave an opening for the door, but that didn't matter because the outside usually came to them. But one day, Chicken, Pig, and Cow wished to go exploring, and Girl was not around to help. We could wait, said Cow. We have waited, said Pig. We've waited long enough, said Chicken. So Pig climbed on Cow, and Chicken climbed on Pig. Then Chicken jumped over the barn wall. Pig grunted and also jumped, bumping his bottom on the way. Cow was left at the bottom of the barn, she couldn't jump over. The wall was too high. I'll wait here, said Cow. We'll give you a full report, said Chicken. The barn was very quiet. This is nice, said Cow. I could take a nap. The barn was very empty. This is good, said Cow. I can run and play and not bump into anyone. But Cow didn't feel like running and playing without her friends. So Cow waited. And then she heard a sound, a drooly, snorty sort of sound. The barn moved, the floor twitched, and Cow flew. When Cow landed, she was outside, where Dog was, drooly, snorty Dog. Cow froze, Dog walked over to Cow and wagged his tail. Dog sat next to Cow and wagged his tail harder. Then Dog lay down, wrapped himself around Cow. Cow fainted. Pig and chicken came back. Pig walked over to dog. Pig stood in front of dog's large drooly mouth. Oink, oink, said brave pig. Come chase me, drooly, snorty dog. Dog opened his eye. His tail wagged, but dog was not interested in chasing pig. Chicken saw red ball. Chicken walked over to red ball and gave it a kick. Ouch, said chicken. Chicken gave Red Ball a push, but Red Ball did not move. 
Pig came over to help. Pig pushed, chicken pushed, pig grunted, chicken flapped, and finally red ball rolled right past dog. Fetch, said chicken. Cow woke up. I made a new friend, said cow, and the barn now has a door thanks to dog, said pig. Dog wagged his tail. Chicken, pig, and cow lived in a popsicle stick barn with a door that dog made. They loved their barn. They loved their new friend, dog. Both were warm and cozy and smelled just right. What a cute book that was. I really liked that. Now it's time to do our craft. So this is our craft kit for this week. So you can pick it up here at the library. Just give us a call and we will run a craft kit out to you. And it also has a piece of black licorice for you to try. And today we're gonna to be doing a little bit of a fun painting activity. So it also comes with a little bit of paint. So you'll probably have to ask your grown up for a bit of help and maybe put on a paint smock or a shirt you don't mind getting dirty. This is washable paint though, um, but it can still kind of make a mess. So let's get our things ready and we'll get started and make the craft together. So for this fun craft activity, we're gonna use a little bit of paint and we'll pour just maybe a drop, a drop or two on. And then we're gonna take the straw and we'll use the straw to blow the paint. Be sure to not drink the paint with the straw though, because that would taste terrible. So can you do that and make your cow all the color black, or maybe your cow will be a little bit black and a little bit white, have spots? You can make your cow however you want to. And if you do, take a picture and send it to us here at the library. We would absolutely love to see what your painting looks like. Now that we've done our craft, it's time to sing a song. So I know a song about a cow, but it's also about other animals that might live on a farm. Does anyone else know that song? That's right, it's Old MacDonald. So let's start. We will start with the cow, of course. So we'll sing, sing with me, we'll sing. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O, with a moo moo here and a moo moo there, here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Let's see what else he'll have on this farm. <gasps> A chicken. What does a chicken say? That's right. A chicken does say bok bok. So we'll sing. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had a chicken, E-I-E-I-O. With a bok bok here and a bok bok there. Here a bok, there a bok, everywhere a bok bok. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Let's see what else he'll have on this farm. Oh, a pig. What would a pig sound like? What, what noise would a pig make? That's right, oink, oink. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had a pig, E-I-E-I-O. With an oink, oink here and an oink, oink there. Here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink, oink. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Oh, let's see what else he'll have on this farm. Oh, a cat. What would a cat say? Oh, that's right, a cat would say, meow. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had a cat, E-I-E-I-O. With a meow meow here and a meow meow there. Here a meow, there a meow, everywhere a meow meow. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Okay, let's see what the last animal he'll have on his farm is. A horse. 
What would a horse say? Nay! That's right. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had a horse, E-I-E-I-O. With a nay nay here and a nay nay there. Here a nay, there a nay, everywhere a nay nay. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Is there any other farm animals you can think of that might be on the farm? And what noises would they make? Hmm, something to think about. And we still have one more song. We have our rainbow song to sing. So can you all get your arms out nice and big like this and we're gonna sing. <gasps> rainbow purple, rainbow blue, rainbow green and yellow too. <gasps> Rainbow orange, rainbow red, rainbow colors on my head. Colors, colors everywhere. I like rainbows in my hair. Thank you so much for joining me this week. And I hope you guys all enjoyed learning about the color black. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.